wrestling action continues a one fall match coming your way. Ladies and gentlemen, entering the arena area from Beverly Hills, California, weighing in at 200 at 48 pounds, the world's heavyweight wrestling champion, Nick Bockwinkel, accompanied by his manager, voted four years in a row as manager of the year, Bobby the Brain, hit it. Bobby the Brain Heenan, Bockwinkel's opponent from New York City, weighing in at 200 at 26 pounds, he is Tony Leone. One fall down to Roger Kent. All well, set to go, the world heavyweight wrestling champion in there, uh, being seconded by uh, his manager, Bobby the Brain Heenan. So many people have called him the weasel that he just put the championship belt down in front of a microphone and said, here, admire something, Kent. Well, it is a very impressive belt. And there are a lot of bumps and bruises and scars and cuts and aching muscles and bones that uh, have uh, been the reason that Mr. Bockwinkle wears this belt. Right, elbow hook up. No, it's in a double wrist lock right now. Might make mention to you. Up, out in the hammer, leg pick up, Bockwinkle. Now, there's a see the snake change in the style since Bockwinkle and uh, Heenan and I are here together. For some reason that Heenan was gone for a while. And uh, even though Bachwinkle is most proficient, he does seem to function just a little more smoothly with Heenan in his corner. And of course, Heenan is just absolutely irate and still uh, burned, steamed about everybody calling him Weasel, Weasel, Weasel. And they have signs they carry into the into the uh, auditoriums, and he that upset him. What? It's people like you, and it's people like the announcer and everybody else. You keep putting the word weasel into people's minds, and they keep shooting their mouth off. If you keep your yap shut, now you see what you started, Ken. Well, I don't know if I started it. Now Ian is hot, and he's leaving the uh, uh, ring area. While Bachwinkle is working on the left leg of Tony Leone. And uh, Heenan uh, giving me a um, scolding. Oh, well. Not a one. Paul Runyon. Paul Runyon, I hope you're watching. We know you're a, an outstanding, a very devoted all-star wrestling fan. Wish you the happiest of birthdays. As Nick Bockwinkle stopping on Tony Leone uh, detracts from any possibility of happiness or joy for Mr. Leone. Side headlock, Leone. Leone from New York going to be thrown off, and he does. Bachwinkle waiting for him or drop Toho. Oh, and did he catch him? I think Bachwinkle was going for two legs, got one. Uh, down on that left leg. While Heenan was giving me what for for mentioning about the weasel factor. Let's call that the weasel factor, I guess, huh? His face is all cut up. So he's uh, had some battle scars. As Bachwinkle, the handsome one of the Heenan family is Scarless. Front face lock, Leone. Heenan hollers now. Oh, and that's what it is. There's the now. Those forearm smashes. Oh. Heenan's hollering louder. I want to hear it pop. And Bachwinkle pops that in there. Look out, Leone's gonna get a turnbuckle. One, two. Well, from one turnbuckle to another. Well, it's, here's Leone putting it to Bachwinkle right now. And oh, and Leone runs full headlong into a knee. 
Flying there. Ah, Heenan just hollered drop kick. Now he's hollering suplex. Back body drop instead. This suplex him. I want to hear his back snap. Well, his back snapped that time with a back body drop. Oh, look out. And he strings him up with the Oriental Slipper. A lot of people say it's very similar. Well, it is similar to the uh, Ganya Slipper, but the Oriental Slipper they brought back from uh, wherever, I don't know, from the Orient, obviously. Leone unable to defend himself, and the referee says, ring the bell. And there it is. The match goes to Nicky Bockwinkle. Nick Bockwinkle. Tricky Nick Bockwinkle is what I was trying to say. That he's only as effective uh, as his skullduggery will allow. Here's the way it was done. The Oriental sleeper going on to Tony Leone. Nick Bockwinkle victorious on All-Star Wrestling. <laughs>